Welcome to one of my uh, videos. This one's a little different considering it's winter, but uh, we're escaping our normal Hamilton and Toronto routes that we like to run and uh, share our, our adventures. Um, and uh, we needed a break, so we came to Montego Bay, Jamaica, found a, um, a direct flight from Hamilton, which was nice. So Hamilton's a smaller airport. No, no thank you. And uh, yeah, so I'll share a little bit in the video about what we're what we're up to. But we're um, we're staying in a place called Freeport. It's a peninsula that um, is about maybe five ten minutes away from what they call hip stretch. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, we're just going over here. Only two minutes. Beach club. Beach club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we're thank good. you. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, if you can actually, if you see around this area, it is a community um, versus a hotel um, on this side. And what's interesting is that this part of Freeport um, was here prior to any of the hotels which are in this direction right over here. Um, and at some point, the area over here, which is the beach, was accessible for people that live here. And the hotels took it over. So the community had to hire lawyers and, you know, they just, just it seems like a very common story in many cities because they had no access to the beach. Eventually they did win and they have one area that they can go through to get to the beach. Um, they call it a beach club. Um, what was it? It was a um, like a hard rock cafe not that long ago. And um, so we're headed there to enjoy this beach. And then, and then, uh, but if you actually look on this side, right, like around all over here, these are hotels. You want to cross over here? that were we think maybe open right at the when the pandemic started and then shut down so where we're going is completely shut down um, there's nobody here it's just I, I would suspect it's just going to be us and whatever uh, area what other people in this residential area brad was reading up on it and this area was once islands Right, and that they connected the islands to create this peninsula. Mm -hmm. um, so literally, we're at the very end of this peninsula. There's nowhere to go but this way and off. And um, downfalls. There's no, there's no stores. There's no supermarkets. Um, it, you got to take a taxi everywhere. There's no public transportation in this area. Um, walking it is a little tricky. The sidewalk ends at some point. We will share and in this. Hot. And it's hot. We'll share in the video. A little bit of other adventures. Have a good day. Oh, thanks. Have We're a good. good. Day. We'll share our. Uh, we're gonna head out for a run um, at some point. Uh, we'll share a little bit about about that. So, yeah, 
not that long, but uh, it should be a fun break and enjoying this seriously blue skies. And we'll be back <laughs> in no time to enjoy the winter. You'd actually you could have We're heading to the beach through this beach club. Oh, what's our name? Zoe and Brad from uh, Soleil. Brad? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a the beach club where the residents in the area have access to the beach. As I said, these are, seem to be common stories in a lot of places. Um, just take over. Here we go. Looks like it would have been nice at one point. Or even now, still nice, yeah. It's so quiet. Oh, it's not too quiet. There's a restaurant right over there. Nothing. Hello. Here we are. So we're staying on this peninsula called Freeport and then uh, we're on right now the um, ocean side, Caribbean side, uh, where our building is, it's on sort of the bay side where the cruise ships come in. So we walk across the street and as part of the community on Freeport, they do have ac public access in, from some uh, of the resorts uh, because for obvious reasons, um, you can't resorts, corporations can't take up every single possible public space. I mean, they do, but Anyway, so I guess normally they can access the beach through a couple of the resort areas um, as part of the agreement for condos. So interesting and sad and sort of, dis I would almost say it's, it feels very dystopian. Um, and it just reminds us of how much this pandemic has impacted our uh, tourist industry in places that really depend on tourism. So the place that we're at is, um, don't think it was a full resort it was more of a beach club and so um, beside it is a resort um, and of course beside it on the other side is also a resort but this so this beach club um, and then the resorts beside it um, have all closed down so I just want to show you a little bit about you know what it looks like when you know you see what once was and then what it is now so I'm gonna just turn my camera I can see here so this was this is all boarded up. You get the idea. It's completely boarded up. I'll show a picture. There's a picture online of the actual, what it actually looks like. Um, it was, it was apparently open, not like, I think it was almost last summer, maybe the summer before. Um, it reopened after the pandemic, but they just couldn't survive with no tourists here, uh, with just the community. So it's all boarded up and inside, um, on the other side of this fence is a big pool. Here, I'll show you. So like, here's the lifeguard seat, um, giant pool. So it was a like a club in here, I believe. And then, oh, I think I just stepped on glass or something. Oh, shell. Uh, I wish I, there was a hole in this fence to show you. Um, there might be somewhere I could peek through. 
but I don't think there is. It's very fenced. So you get the idea that everything is just fenced off. And so we clearly have this entire section to ourselves. There's not a single other person here, except for just us. Um, and then right next door is another resort. Um, those two big buildings, completely empty now. You can see there's curtains and you know chairs and patio furniture, all of that kind of stuff, but it's just completely shut down since the uh, pandemic hit this area this area um since the pandemic hit i mean this area has uh you can see has suffered dramatic loss right so here's an example of a resort and i'm sure there's many many resorts across um the any of these islands in the caribbean and elsewhere that have just been completely shut down you get you get the picture like n nobody here I don't know if anyone ever had a chance to stay here, so... But, um, on the other side, over there, there are resorts that are open. And right there it stops. And so, these are just kind of stranded seats. Clearly, you know, it's not really taken care of, obviously. Um, there's security. There's, you can't really see, but he's sitting over there. There's a security person, and then we do have one bathroom. I think it might be a staff bat, a washroom that we're allowed to use, so um, it's perfect for me. I'm not really a big fan of crowds, so this uh, we have this whole complete area um, to ourselves. And if anyone from any of these resorts we've noticed tries to walk down here just to explore, they are told stopped immediately by these security so I don't I feel very comfortable here to be honest with you it's very a nice spot that we found so we brought lunch we gotta have gonna have a coffee well lunch breakfast first and then lunch coffee's good, coffee's good. how's the spot yeah you getting any bothered by anybody around here just you just me <laughs> Anyways. It's very quiet around here. Definitely deep here, can't touch. I want to take an example of what the resort looks like. Completely empty. Sad. I thought I just swallowed water. Wow. Uh. One of my favorite things to do, um, no matter where I am in the world, is sifting through rocks.
Thank you.